Hey buddies, what's up? So right now I'm cutting a new video and uh, we are doing a best of two step and drag strip whatever we have done with the car. Just uh, yeah, like a little best of video of the car and it's about the uh, GT28 1.8 turbo project and the uh, Mark IV Jetta. Um, I'm done with the project, I'm selling the car right now and uh, get ready for the new project. Sorry for the fireworks, it's the 4th of July. <laughs> but um, anyways, so we're going in that video right now and right after that we do a review what is uh, the good things and the bad things about that project and um, yeah, we'll take a look at that right after that video. Have fun buddies. <laughs> Start it up. Oh yeah, that's loud. First we test if it can stu two step. Yeah, we can do that. That's good. <laughs> and now we drive and see how it handles.
Alright, that was my little best of and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button. It's down in the corner and um, well, future projects are coming. I'm getting ready to sell that car right now to get ready for my new project and um, yeah, it costs nothing. Subscribe my channel if you want and um, don't forget to, to get that bell on so you get a notification if a new video comes online every Sunday. So, so now we're coming to the results of the project and it's, um, it was a really really fun project. Basically it was just a really really cheap uh, budget, a low budget project. I paid a low price for the car and for all the parts, I think it was like, I don't know, people who are watching that videos, I didn't count it but I guess it was like $1,200 to $1,400 for all the parts to build that engine like it is with all the components yeah like without my special exhaust system and without a new set of tires and most people have that stuff but um, yeah if you're going from that basis we are still under two grand and have a car like that but I'm, I'm uh, I was not really happy with the turbocharger because um, if you see in my last videos it's smoking like hell right now yeah, because it's using oil and it's not good anymore but um, yeah I have warranty on it so I get a new turbocharger I still have to pay a little bit but it's nothing to compare to the price what a brand new turbocharger is like even that's cheap but you know what I mean anyways so turbo is the one point the second point is the exhaust system. The exhaust system is really nice. Yeah, Steve Smuggler Shop has done a really nice job with that exhaust system, but the flange for the system who goes out of the turbocharger is is just not uh, not a nice flange because it's uh, it's too small. It's two and a half inch, I think it was, and two and a half inch is a little bit small for GT28. I think the the turbine outlet is like two inch, but then you have also the the wastegate sitting at the top, and if that goes open, you have a bigger diameter coming out of the turbo, and it goes into the exhaust system, and that makes a lot of pressure and tension in that area, and maybe that is one of the reasons why we only making like 21 pounds of boost. Another thing is and I'm really mad about that the tune but um, I mean I didn't expect that much but I still paid like $400 from boost dynamic something boost dynamic tuning that eBay sh uh, shit whatever it's a really bad tune it's using way too much gas it's, it's running way 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 too rich and um, for, ex for example two times I wanted to start the car and it didn't crank at all and I got the spark plugs out and they are soaking wet so that is how rich the car is running yeah I was texting with him and he says I make you a special tune and for, for your injectors and everything but I think he probably he tuned it for, for 40 injectors and we are running what was it 550s something like that anyways it's running way too rich I tried to contact them and um, no response at all so when I wanted to buy it he responds in within a few hours and it was no problem and I texted with him what I want to do and what kind of setup I have and and all that stuff and he responded really really well I got that thing I got my problems with it no answer at all anymore so I'm really unhappy with that so yeah but um, I think I, I've seen a couple of reviews and they say the same stuff about them, them guys. And um, well, that is if you buy the cheap, cheap stuff. I think you can, you can get way more power out of it if you have a really nice tube. First of all, if you put another exhaust flange on it and get a really good tune on a on a dyno to set it up, 
you probably make some some nice power with it but still cheap low budget projects so we don't invest in, in stuff like that anymore and um, well yeah I got a new turbocharger and I sell it with a brand new turbocharger on top and maybe the owner after me he can when he got the turbo out he can change the exhaust flange or whatever and um, get it tuned on a dyno and then he will have a nice setup but um, I'm not doing that because uh, it was just a project for me and I'm going ahead looking forward for the next project and um, what else could I say I think the, all the other components are really good I'm uh, really impressed about the quality of the um, intercooling system because um, cheap stuff sink if I remember right it was 120 or 129 dollars and um, really good material um, really good clamps silicone hoses and all that stuff and um, I have seen way way worse quality in that section and um, running 21 pounds that is not the most boost but it's some boost and um, I never had a real problem the only problem what I had is uh, one clamp slipped off but that was from a pipe what I built by myself I welded a hump on that that pipe and it was slipping off from that hump two times but um, that was not a failure of the intercooling system that was a failure of mine because I forgot a little piece to weld and um, so I fixed it and after that it was alright but um, all in all that system was alright and um, the fuel pump works also really really fine makes some good pressure as you can see that the car is running way too rich <laughs> and the actors are working good spark plugs are working good what else did I use? the excess manifold oh the excess manifold actually needed a lot of work I got an excess manifold that cast manifold and it was really cheap and I had to grind it off a lot you know at the at the top it goes on the ball and uh, on the on the bowls and at the top it was hitting the cylinder head so I had to grind it off of the top a lot to uh, make it fit in there without hitting the cylinder head so it can slide on the bowls but um, after I have done that it was really straight so um, it's not even leaking any anything so that thing is good yeah but that was all problems what I had and um, other than that it was a really nice project it was a lot of fun we had a lot of fun with the cars fun times and um, well it could be nicer if you invest a little bit more money especially in the shift system because it's totally messed up so that was the only thing where I had trouble with on the drag strip because it was really hard to uh, really hard to find the gear but um, other than that the clutch the clutch actually is doing a really great job I have done a, a couple of launch control starts with that clutch and uh, yeah clutch is, is strong don't make noises or anything it's just not for daily drive because it's a six bed clutch yeah but other than that it's really really nice so yeah that was a review of the project nice little car nice little project the next project is gonna be really really lit but um, it takes a little bit of time because I have to make space to get the other car sold first so probably the next videos are a couple of uh, yeah whatever car shows or car meets whatever or doing stuff like that and um, when I get the next car the next project it's, it's even better so if you want to keep on track with the next project subscribe to the channel hit that bell get that bell on and um, see you then buddies <laughs>